In this question, we are asked to give the electron configuration for the following. We can use the noble gas core preceding for the inner electrons. We have a total of six, and what we do first is we get the number of electrons on each. Okay? We begin with germanium 32. For this one, the noble gas core we utilize is argon. From then, we do the 3D orbital full with 10, the 4S orbital full with 2, and the 4P orbital with 2. Argon has a total of 18, plus 10, 28, 30, 32, 32. For W, we are getting for tungsten, which has a number of 74. For tungsten, we're going to be using xenon, which has 54. After xenon, we will have to go and fill out the following orbitals. We start with 4. We begin with the fourth orbital, F, full with 14. After that, we go to 5D with a total of 4, and finally the 6th S with a total of 2. We get 54 plus 14 is 68, plus 4 is 72, plus 2 is 74. 74. The next one is iron. For iron, we are going to utilize argon again which has a total of 18. After that, we have the 3D orbital full with 6 and the 4S orbital with 2, giving us a total of 18, 24, 26. The following is nickel. We will utilize argon again for nickel, giving us 18. After that, the 3D orbital will have a total of 8 electrons, and the 4s orbital will have 2, giving us 18 plus 8, 26 plus 2, 28. 28. Then we are gonna we are gonna look for the thallium. For this one, we utilize xenon, which has 54. After that, we have the 4f orbital full with 14. Then the 5D orbital full with 10. After that, we have the 6, 6S orbital full with 2. And then the 6P orbital with only 2. With this, we have 54 plus 14 is 68, plus 10 is 78, plus 2 is 80, and 81. Total for 81. For zinc, we are going to utilize argon again for a total of 18. After that, we have the 3D orbital full with 10 and the 4S orbital with 2, giving us 18, 28, 30. Remember, on this one, I was mistaken by this one too. It is 1. I did, I did correct it at the end. Again, 54 plus 14 is 68, plus 10, 78, plus 2, it's 80, plus 1, 81, 81.